where Bruno Verdruccio is a scientist and was a commander of an elite unit of the Italian Navy. For 15 years, he's been investigating unidentified craft with a team of researchers. So I know several information, but my government don't want to know. Because if my government know, they must do something. Absolutely. I would like to see what you have. That's what I'd like I, to see. If I tell you something that is restricted, okay. you must give uh, us something of restricted. Well, uh, oh, that's well, we are not Russian. Yeah. We are, uh, we are <laughs> brothers. Yeah. You, know, you have to give me something of the same way. During our time in the ATIP program, we were focused on only two primary objectives. Those two objectives, what is it and how does it work? We still don't know what they are, but we have a much better understanding now of how they work. We assembled more than 15,000 cases during the last 70 years, and we have a database. The Italians have accumulated one of the world's largest collections of UAP data. Unfortunately, if this is not uh, shared with uh, other people uh, outside Italy, yes. it's useless. There's one incident in particular the officials wanted to discuss with Lou Elizondo. On 2004 uh, in Sicily, a craft appeared a few hundred meters behind the copter tail and it shoot a ray that destroyed helicopter wings. I can I'm show you the really photograph. That's what I'd like uh, to see. Yeah. This was the only helicopter in the airspace on a secret mission to actually investigate the UAP phenomena off the coast of that island, and it gets zapped. And there's several pictures from different cameras on the island of the same helicopter and a UAP following it. Uh, we can't use uh, missiles against this device, <laughs> so, you know, we can launch missile, or the missile will be sent back. So uh, this was deliberate? You believe that it was a deliberate in that case, yes. Yes. The Italian military sent a helicopter to investigate. Officials say the chopper was chased by a saucer-shaped UAP that shot a powerful electromagnetic beam at its rotor. The helicopter was severely damaged, but was able to land. The incident was photographed by a local resident. Locals had also reported seeing mysterious lights over the sea. For months, the military investigators were baffled, but they were able to piece together a few key details. This signal was absolutely directional. It was a beam. Che su una certa banda di frequenza noi li potevamo vedere e che poi avevamo scoperto che quando loro usano le loro armi ad energia they must go outside the stealth mode mode mm. ah, 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 ah. solo in quel momento noi li possiamo moment. colpire con, mm -hmm. with the plated uranium weapons and now wow. what you say to me Militaries around the world have electromagnetic pulse weapons that produce quick bursts of energy that can destroy electrical systems. But the Italians claim the UAP fired a pulse strong enough to destroy a helicopter rotor. No known military has that capability. They were, they were very pointed in matter of fact that, that these things had been kind of plaguing them for some time. One individual in particular provided some very, very detailed information to include uh, some analysis on frequency. I hate to say it, but they may have more information than we do even in the U.S. potentially. In Russia, and now even in China, there is the tendency to organize at a government level in order to study such phenomena and to find results from the studies. You are aware of this? I am. Okay. I think we're all in the same boat. So uh, my, my hope is with the help of, of you all and, and everybody else, we can move this topic forward. Uh, this affects humanity. This doesn't affect just one country. In fact, more evidence suggests that UAPs are a truly global phenomenon. 